Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. It's Killod404. Finally, the day we've all been waiting for. More Pokemon Sun and Moon information has finally been revealed. And funny story, I was actually sound asleep when the information was revealed, and I was awakened by a bunch of notifications on my phone. I was like, who could that be? Why is my phone blowing up so early in the morning? And sure enough, it was from my Discord app. It was from my good friend Maddie, who was sending me a bunch of notifications, talking on the Discord app, basically saying, hey KidLot404, this is all the information that was revealed. It's awesome. Are you going to make a video? And so I was like, okay, you know, I'm up already. I might as well go up to my computer, you know, gather all the information and make a Pokemon video for you guys, talking about the information and also my thoughts. That's basically what we're going to do. We're going to be talking about the main points, what I think, and also, before I get into the information, one more friendly reminder to go on the Discord app. There are literally, on my Pokemon Sun and Moon Discord server, there are literally conversations every single day about Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's awesome. There are a bunch of people in there. I don't want you guys to miss out. And again, I'm just thinking of the possibilities. When Pokemon Sun and Moon are finally released, you know, I could be live streaming and there could be a bunch of people in there playing alongside with me, chatting, you know, talking with me, kind of like Skype on, on the voice servers, etc. There's so many possibilities and I think it's great so I just want you guys, again, friendly reminder, please, at least just once, you don't even have to download the app or anything, you can just use it straight from your browser, check out the Discord link, would love to have you there, we'd all love to have you there. So anyway, let's go to the main points of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I'm just going to go straight to the bullet points. The first, most important thing as well, the first thing that was revealed was the release date. We're going to be having a November 18th release date, which is which is good. I mean, I was kind of expecting or at least hoping for an October release date just to get it a little bit earlier. Remember, Pokemon X and Y were released in October, but, you know, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I guess, was released in November. And so again, I guess they chose again to go with a November 18th release date. I guess it's okay because we're going to be having Pokemon Go during the summer, so that can kind of satisfy us until Pokemon Sun and Moon releases, but uh, whatever, we'll take it as it is, right? November 18th, mark that on your calendars, that's the day where I'm going to be doing for sure a live stream of Pokemon Sun and Moon when that game comes out. Next thing is going to be the region, the name of the region. The name of the region in Pokemon Sun and Moon is the Alola region, A-L-O-L-A, I believe. And again, this is kind of a play on words. This is a play on words of Aloha, the Hawaiian word for saying hello. And again, this looks like a tropical place based on the Hawaiian Islands, which is going to be really interesting. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, right? That region, the Hoenn region, because there's a lot of water, there's islands, it has a tropical feeling and so on and so forth. And so I guess they're kind of revisiting that again, but they have a lot more kind of culture, right? to pull from uh, from the Hawaiian culture. Maybe we'll have some luau's, some barbecue, maybe we'll go on a Pokemon safari and catch all these different types of Pokemon, maybe we'll be driving in a Jeep, etc. So I think the Hawaiian culture is pretty it's pretty nice. There's a lot of stuff to pull from and it's going to be interesting to see, you know, like I said, what Game Freak is going to pull from the Hawaiian culture to kind of showcase in a Pokemon Sun and Moon. So that's pretty good. Um, and also too, of course, you see a lot of this kind of safari background and safari um, type um, landscapes, etc. So again, it's going to be really interesting to see uh, when the game actually comes out. Three starters. We have three traditional starters, uh, grass, fire, and water. The first starter is a grass flying Pokemon. Its name is Rolette, and it's it's like a little bird. I'm sure it's going to evolve into a mighty uh, owl later on in its final evolution. The next Pokemon is Litten. It's a fire Pokemon, a fire cat Pokemon. Again, maybe it will evolve into some sort of lion or tiger or whatever. And finally, we have Popplio, a water Pokemon. It's a sea lion Pokemon, and it kind of looks like a, a circus animal. It looks a little bit cocky, too, in this screenshot. So those are the three starters. And again, it's actually kind of, you know, wildly, like, insane how the uh, room rumors were actually spot on. You know, the rumors talking about the starters were actually really close to what the actual starters were finally to be revealed. And so it's kind of creepy and scary a little bit, right? How the how the rumors are so true, how, how people have this inside information already. It's crazy. But anyway, those are the three starters. And in my opinion, they kind of look a little funky. They don't kind of look like traditional Pokemon. What I consider, I don't know, traditional, I guess. Maybe traditional isn't really the right word, but I guess I like the designs more of like Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 3. I, I even like the, the designs of uh, X and Y. You know, I love those uh, those original Pokemon designs for that game. But for this, uh, these, these starters kind of look a little funky. They look a little weird. I don't know if I like the art style. Maybe they're kind of um, running out of ideas in some sense. I don't really know. Maybe you guys can let me know what you guys think of the starters in the comments below. I personally think that they're a little bit funky. And then finally, 
we had glimpses, finally, glimpses of the legendary Pokemon in Sun and Moon. We can finally have one piece of information that kind of differentiates the two games. In Pokemon Sun, you're going to be having this Fire Lion type Pokemon, and in Pokemon Moon, you're going to be having this a Bat type Pokemon. So, pretty interesting. Again, these, these legendaries look kind of, uh, I, like I said, I like the legendaries in X and Y. When I look at the Pokemon in this game so far, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what to think about it. So, anyway, that's basically also, too, the main point here for the polls, right? Please, um, you can actually go ahead, if you're logged into your YouTube account, you can go in the top right hand corner of the video and you can actually interact with two polls. I want you guys to vote on two polls and that's why I wanted to talk about this information first before you actually go and vote in the polls. The first poll that I want you to vote in is which starter are you going to get? Are you going to get uh, Rolet, Litten, or Popplio? And the second thing is which Pokemon game are you going to be getting? Sun and Moon. Again, it's kind of hard to make that distinction, but we have the first, you know, major piece of uh, information to kind of decipher that distinction, right? Which legendary Pokemon do you want to get for yourself? Do you want to get the Sun legendary or the Moon legendary? Usually, most of the time, that's kind of like the key critical factor that kind of lets people, you know, make the decision whether to get one game over the other. So two polls, go ahead and vote on that. And that's pretty much it. That's the information. All I want to, I just want to let you guys know, you know, when the games do come out, I will be doing a live stream and it's going to be revamped. It's going to be a lot better because uh, I have so many more things I can do now, you know, features, I can do voting, I can do a bunch of different stuff on screen, etc. It's just going to be a lot more revamped than the past two live streams. And I guess we're going to continue this tradition of always live streaming the game day one when they release here at November 18th. Really excited for that. Also, too, I think we have a pretty decent uh, Nintendo calendar going forward. We have Pokemon Go coming out on mobile, coming this summer, and then, you know, fast forward into, you know, fall, winter, we'll have Pokemon Sun and Moon, and then fast forward to spring of next year in March, we'll get uh, the Nintendo NX, and then we'll play Zelda and, uh, you know, supposedly all the different uh, great uh, release date titles for the Nintendo NX. So um, it looks pretty, you know, I'm going to say decent. It doesn't look promising. It doesn't look fantastic. It looks decent. We have games to kind of play, videos to make, etc. opportunities out there, and I'm really excited for that to get back into my YouTube channel. So that's pretty much it. Kid out.